Hello there all of you beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if you are returning. If you are new, welcome. My name is Victoria and I like to do unboxings and random makeup videos. So this one's actually a little different today because you guys are normally, if you've been here before, uh, normally I just do boxy charm unboxings and try ons. Today, however, we have something a little new. Um, this went viral, I guess about a month ago on TikTok. Um, it is the new Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. We are gonna be getting into it today and I'm gonna do a try on for you guys. Um, at first impressions also, but I do need full disclosure to let y'all know I've had this for about a week and I've tried it two times already. Um, so I can give you a little bit more of a thorough beyond first impressions. Um, and I'll put that at the end with my final thoughts. Um, so yeah, if you're noticing that I look a little different today, my makeup's only at about 90% done. Uh, I am lacking any mascara and eyeliner uh, because I am actually gonna be trying this on for you guys and with you guys so you can see it, um, kind of see exactly how it goes on, what it looks like. We'll do one coats and two coats possibly three. We'll see how I'm feeling. Um, and then I'll just kind of show you guys how it performs. So if that interests you, keep on watching. All right, guys, I just wanted to do a little up close uh, video of the packaging before I rip it open. I did get the shade 800, which is black as black, and it also comes in very black. But this is what the packaging looks like. Alrighty guys, so I'm not really quite sure how to do the zoom on this, so I'm just going to get close to my camera and I will show you guys up close. Hopefully you'll be able to see it just fine without a problem. Um, so as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, I am not wearing any mascara at all. I'm not wearing any eyeliner and I typically do wear eyeliner on my bottom waterline. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I would normally do any mascara. I do always curl first. And that's just because I have very short, um, like average, short to average length lashes that are very straight. So actually I'm gonna lean in a little closer and show you guys if you can see kind of what I'm working with, which is not a whole lot. <laughs> I mean, if you look at my side profile, um, I was not la uh, blessed in the lash department. <laughs> um, but so I always curl my lashes before I put on any mascara, that's not new. So we're gonna go ahead and give them a curl. Now I think what I'm gonna do is just do one um, I curl, I, I squeeze several times. Um, I'm just gonna do, like you can see the difference already just from curling, cause they're so straight. Um, I, I am only gonna do one um, eye on camera and then I will do the other off camera and then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. But let's go ahead and just start with the mascara. This is what the actual tube itself looks like. It comes out nice and smooth. There's no like, pop when you pull it out it just slips right out and um it's one of those like kind of plasticky type of um plasticky type of applicators one thing i also noticed is it's super flexible and that's something that i think the package even says if you can see that how flexible it moves and actually before i put it on let me read you what it actually says on the package so it does say introducing lash sensational sky high our first mascara made for full volume and authentic length custom flex brush grips and extends every lash uh, formulated, with, formulated with bamboo extract and fibers, gives authentic impact, no clumping, smudging, or flaking, up to 24 hour wear, allergy tested, um, ophthalmologist tested, suitable for contact lens wearers, which is great because I wear contacts. Doesn't really say much about claims other than the very front, it just says limitless length, full volume. So it's supposed to be full volume and length and all that good stuff. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and put this on, see what it's all about. <laughs> so I always kind of start on the bottom and just kind of wiggle up. And I already got some on my cheek and that happens from time to time. If that ever happens to you, I would definitely recommend just letting it dry and then going back with some makeup remover later, getting rid of any little smudges that might happen. So right away, one thing I noticed when, I put, when I'm putting this on, is the brush itself does seem to be um, very grippy, very kind of like grabby, okay? Like it's really um, kind of attaching itself or kind of holding on to every lash. 
I got a little bit of flyaways there, okay? Um, so that's just one basic coat that's just kind of going through one time. Um, I am gonna go ahead and give that another go here, another coat. And I kind of do the little side to side wiggle action, always kind of done that. I do know, I did notice um, the other time that I put this on, the other couple of times I've worn it, um, and it looks like it's happening again right now, is about the second coat. It is starting to clump just a little bit. Not a lot, not a lot, but just a little bit. I'm actually gonna stop at two coats. I do not really wanna go for three. Actually, you know what, for the purposes of the video, I might, because I do want y'all to know what three coats looks like but I would be totally comfortable as I have done the last couple of days just stopping here at two. So, I mean, you can definitely see the difference between where I have no mascara and then where the mascara is. I'm gonna give it another few seconds. I mean, I don't let it like completely dry in between coats, but I do give it a few seconds um, before I go back in. Um, like I said, I would be totally okay with just stopping here, um, but for the purposes of the video, I will go ahead and do three. Okay. Ooh, got some clumpage happening. And, oh, sorry guys, I keep having a little flyaway that's getting in there. It's kind of trying to separate it a little bit with the tip. I think three might be a little bit too much for me, guys. A little too much. But, you know, some people like to build it up. Okay. <laughs> I think that's that's about right. So, that is three coats. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and put it on the bottom for you guys because I do always put mascara on the bottom. Normally, I just do one coat. One coat is sufficient because I do wear, like I said, black my, uh, black eyeliner on the waterline. My lashes on the bottom are even more minuscule and small. Okay, but this seems to be actually working quite nicely on the bottom. Get them all nice and separated. Like I said, I do feel like it's kind of gripping onto the lashes. And it looks to be separating and getting all those little bitty lashes. Those teeny tiny lashes that I have. On the bottom. Kind of go through that a couple times. All right. So... I think I'm gonna do one more little pass on the bottom here in just a second. I'm liking the way it looks. Let's go ahead and do one more little go on the bottom. Nice and black. Hopefully we won't get too clumpy. starting to clump a little. I think one might have been good. When I wore this last couple of days, I've only been doing the one coat. I apologize if you can hear my neighbors. My neighbors are just getting home. They like to blare their music. Okay, so that is two coats on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna get off camera, I'm gonna do the other eye. I'm gonna do two coats on this eye um, and one on the bottom, so you can kind of see how it compares. We'll, we'll do a final look in just a second. I'm also gonna go ahead and throw on my bottom eyeliner, so give me one sec, we'll be right back. All right guys, so I am back. I completed the mascara application on both eyes and I did go ahead and put some black, water, uh, black eyeliner on my waterline. So let me go and get a little closer, I'll show you exactly what each side is. Um, so as you saw a few moments ago on my left, your right, um, we have three coats on top and two coats on the bottom. 
which in my opinion is a little much <laughs> because the way I've been wearing it and the way I always prefer to wear my mascara is uh, on my right, which would be your left, and that would be two coats on top and one coat on the bottom, which I feel like is perfectly great. Um, so this is what it looks like, and if you'll give me just a sec, we'll go ahead and back it up and I will go over my final thoughts. All right guys, so now that we have everything put on, let's go ahead and go over my feelings and some other details about this mascara. Um, so a couple of things. When I showed you guys the packaging and I told you that I got it in shade 800, um, know that it does come in another shade. I forget the number, but it is very black. Um, and the one I got, the 800, is black as black. So it comes in two shades. It does also come in a waterproof formula. Um, so because of the whole like TikTok explosion, and that's how I actually saw it, not so much because I'm on TikTok because I don't really go on TikTok, but a girlfriend shared it with me and then I saw it and then I was like, oh my God, I gotta try this out. So because of that, it's very hard to find right now, at least in store. Um, and you may get lucky finding it in store, probably like a CVS or a Walgreens is gonna be your best bet. But Walmart, Target, it's sold out everywhere, pretty much in store. I, I tried going physically to one Walmart. They did not have it. Um, I ended up getting mine on Ulta and I placed it online, no problem. Um, I don't know how much they had in stock, but I placed some other item. I placed an order on some other items. So yeah, I've got this several days ago. I've used it two times. So let me tell you about the wear of it. Um, one, uh, I know it says that it lasts for up to 24 hours and I'm always having problems with mascara flaking on me. And I don't think that's a personal thing with me. I think that's just mascaras. Most formulas tend to flake and crumble and you get that little fallout on your cheeks. I actually have not experienced that at all with this mascara, which was kind of surprising. Um, and I don't know if it was just surprising because like I've been historically let down by mascaras or if it's just that it was a drugstore and I assumed that that was going to happen. So, you know, I did want to at least let you guys know um, that I did have a lot of success with wearing it without any sort of fallout or anything like that. Now, I was just around the house and doing some errands. I went to go to like the mechanic and I went to the grocery store and I wasn't doing anything crazy like working out or dancing or going out or wearing it for like 20 hours. I wore it, I think the most, maybe 12 hours, like all day. Like I did it earlier in my the, my shift when I started and then like I when I was working and then like I washed it off at the end of the night. Um, but still, no, no crumbling or anything like that, which was great. Um, now let's just go into performance. Um, you guys saw me put it on, so formulate your own opinions. Um, I think that it's great. Um, I didn't actually, and let me just back up real quick. I don't think I talked about the price point. I think it varies where you buy it. I got it on Ulta for $12.50, like $12.49. So, you know, it's a great price. It's half as much as any sort of high-end, um, you know, mascara that you would get. Most of them are $24, $25, $26 bucks for like a, a, a nicer mascara. And uh, for even drugstore, $12.50 is, is not bad. So... Um, now, as far as the way it went on, um, it talks about it being volumizing. I don't feel that it volumized as much as it just lengthened. I think that that's pretty evident that you can see that it did lengthen very well. Um, I have short little non-existent lashes and now I look like I have lashes. So it did a great job. It's very black. Um, I mean, I did get the black, it's black. So it did its job about being very black. Um, and honestly, I think that with the brush and, and the way that the it kind of gri grips, it almost like grips your lashes, it kind of helps distribute the product more evenly. So I like that. It's not your typical bristly type of brush. It's that kind of plasticky, spiky type. So I am extremely happy with this mascara. Um, I knew I didn't have a lot to work with, so I wasn't really sure that it was gonna do big crazy spider lashes that I had seen online. But I'm very happy with the way it performed. I think um, this is probably gonna be my new go-to as long as I can keep finding it and it doesn't isn't constantly sold out um, because I feel like mascara is the one makeup that has always consistently let me down and I've just never really been able to find one that's worth rebuying. Um, you know, it's just, I've just tried so many and I've been let down by so many. I, and I get them all the time in my subscription boxes. So it's like when I get one, I am totally more than fine and happy with just throwing away my last one and using a new one. You're supposed to replace them every three months anyway. So, you know, um, I, I'm okay with like, okay, I'll throw this one away, on to the next. 
So this one, I'm very happy. I, I understand the hype. If you have super long lashes, I can only imagine that this is gonna take them sky high, literally, like the name says, I'm not trying to be cheesy, but like, my, I have nothing to work with and you can see that it looks great on me, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm not trying to say like, I look great, but you know, they, it, it did a really good job. So I'm happy. Um, I think the hype is real. Um, and yeah, I would recommend trying it. I, I mean, if you need a new mascara, if you're looking for something lengthening, not so much volumizing, I feel like it did clump a little, um, but I'm very happy with it. So that is it for the mascara um, portion of the video. I did just wanna make um, a little side note here. Um, if you were noticing on my close up, and if you've been noticing because I'm talking with my hands, I have some pretty awesome nail color on my nails today. Um, I actually, these are Color Street Nails, and if you don't know what Color Street Nails are, they are, I have a couple examples right here. They are, um, they're nail polish strips. You literally find your size, match it up to your fingernail, and you, you take off the plastic wrap, you put it on your fingernail, you rub it on, you basically peel it off, and it is amazing because this is basically like the world's easiest manicure. Um, I actually just got an order today, so I put these on earlier today. Um, these are some of the other colors that I have that I have not obviously worn um, because the wear on these is probably anywhere from, I'd say easily 10 days to two weeks. Um, they're an awesome product. Um, one of my girlfriends, I tried them before, this is not my first time, um, probably about a year or two ago. It's been a while. They've been around for a while. Um, but one of my girlfriends, her name is Candace, she's actually selling these now. So I did place my order through her, literally placed my order on Tuesday, Wednesday, and today's Friday. I got them today, so that was super quick. Um, they are amazing. This is the color called New York Minute. I liked it because it's kind of like mauve -y, purple -y, and it kind of goes with my coloring today. Um, so I just wanted to, to let you guys know um, that this is a thing, and if you're interested, and if you you know, caught a glimpse of my nails during the video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop her information in the description bar. If you're interested in placing an order, um, if you wanna learn more about it, you know, you can go to their website. So I'll put all those details in the bottom. Um, so that is it for tonight's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've got some more exciting stuff planned and coming up, um, like I said in my last video, I'll be doing some magnetic lashes soon. And I got the Animal Crossing collection from ColourPop. So excited that I got that and I will be testing out um, several of the products that I didn't get everyone. Um, I'll be testing that out when I get that. So hopefully I'll get that next week. So stay tuned guys, more fun stuff coming and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.